hey guys welcome back to the channel and in this video we will understand the functions of the salt bridge so before starting off with this topic i request you all to view the previous video which is tells us about what is exactly a galvanic cell which is also known as a voltaic cell if you'll watch this video and come over here it will be better for you all for understanding now what is exactly a salt bridge so we have taken here a galvanic cell in which there is a zn electrode and this zn electrode is inserted in a zn so4 solution and this copper electrode is inserted in a copper sulfate solution now we insert a salt bridge between them this salt bridge is nothing but a u shaped tube which consists of an 5% agar solution and salts like kcl now what is this agar solution agar solution is a plant gel this plant gel is mixed with solutions like kcl or any salts like nacl also now we will understand the functions of the salt bridge the first function of the salt bridge is that it does not does not allow the electrolytic solutions to mix as you can see over here this znso4 solution is not allowed to mix with this cuso4 solution the second function is that it maintains electrical neutrality in both the electrolytic solutions over here as we all know at this zn electrode this zn electrode is going to decompose into zn2 plus ions and it will give away this extra electron okay after this zn get decomposes into zn2 plus ion the zn2 plus ions move in this zn so4 solution so now there is a positive charge added to this zn so4 solution to neutralize this circuit this kcl will get dissociated into k plus and cl minus ions after this kcl get dissociated into k plus and cl minus ions since here there are zn plus 2 ions present so to neutralize those positive ions cl minus which is negatively charged will flow into electrolytic solution so similarly here also since cu2 plus ions are dissociated at this electrode and so4 2 minus ions come into the electrolytic solution so to neutralize this so4 2 minus ions k plus which is positively charged will flow into this electrolytic solution let's understand the third function third function is that it prevents junctional potential junctional potential means what since this electrolytic solutions are now neutralized by this case k and cl this solution becomes neutral as well as this solution becomes now neutral so there is no potential difference between both these solutions if kcl wouldn't have moved into this electrolytic solutions there would have been a potential difference between both these solutions that is znso4 and cuso4 the fourth the last and not the least it provides an electrical contact between two electrolytic solutions as you all know that the electrons flow from anode to cathode it move and then there is no flow that is there is no conduction between the znso4 and cuso4 there is no contact between these two half cells therefore to provide a contact between these two half cells we need a salt bridge with due to which there is a flow of ions in this particular electrolytic solutions so guys this was all about your electrolytic uh, functions of your salt bridge if you are if, if you are not subscribed to the channel then do please subscribe to the channel and if you like this video then do share it with your friends Thanks for watching this video.